opinion from yeah. my part, it will be quite interesting, the results of it. Okay, so we're going to see mostly a projectile-based game between these yes. two players. They are aggressive, super aggressive players, but at the same time making sure that they take advantage of every projectile possible. And we see Sam actually just clobbering headshot with a lot of projectiles. He's doing a lot of this is the first time I actually see Sun play. Well, I'm sure that you're going to be impressed by his gameplay as well. 97% on Young Link. Headshot is taking advantage of his projectile game, as you mentioned before. It's going to be pivotal for this set so far. So a lot of arrows, a lot of missiles, a good nair. Just make sure he racks up some more damage. And a good forward smash to take away that stock. So going for it down, throwing, connecting with the back airs, boomerang, and just connecting with those fire arrows consistently. Already taking headshot to 112%, but he it's headshot's starting to rack up some more damage. He's being quite Another back air sending him headshot to the outside, edge guard situation. And look at that, almost connecting with that forward air. Back air is going to connect as well. 163% on headshot. And He's still surviving still so far. Headshot's doing a pretty good job of avoiding. Great job using that there, actually taking away that spot. And we continue on with a couple of fairs, making sure that his disadvantage is not that bad. 78 to 25%. So what do you think of the way the headshot is playing right now? He's actually maintaining center stage. Do you think that's a better idea for him to actually work on Young Link as we see him using up beats? I think headshots, like, doing a pretty good job with the pressure on the edge, keeping him far, taking control of the stage. Now we see a little... Yes, we see a little bit of a reversal this time. Headshot taking center stage, whereas Santa's now in the corner. And a good upbeat to take away that stock as well. Yep. Getting into the rhythm of things. Throwing out a couple of bombs even. A good bomb to actually flank with Young Link's Nair and as he continues the pressure. There's Rapid succession of uppers trying to connect something in a fair and a couple of uppers as well. Young Link already at 44%. What do you think Satin has to do in order for him to actually take away this stock? Honestly. <laughs> so we see him going for a little bit more aggressive style. Do you think that he should continue to use the projectiles, for example, to establish some sort of rhythm? before actually taking momentum away from headshot. Honest, I think with this pacing of the item, I think he's playing kind of safe with this pacing of the items as good, but I think that he should be more approachable. Okay. Like, taking that kind of safe space that headshot has and not leave him, like, breathe, put more pressure on him. Like, okay, so... Somewhere at a medium distance that he can actually throw the projectiles but not get hit by headshot. But yeah. Okay. And we continue on to put under pressure. Headshot is actually doing a great job at racking yes, up more percentage the more time that Sam tries to Ooh. throw something out, right? And he's gonna go for the forward throw, setting up the edge guard situation once again. And a good nair sending him to the other he's side. And a, a, a bit of a curious clash between moves. Sand taking away that stock. And um, 110%, it's still doable for Sand, but maybe he should just try to turn it up a little bit more. Maybe go a lot more aggro. But Headshot continues to maneuver around. On already, Sand at 140. 8% and a good backer to take away that stock. So headshot taking the first game. 
Going into game two, what do you expect in regards to maybe counter picks of stages? Do you think that maybe he would want to go for a smaller stage? Honestly, yeah, I think a smaller stage will be better. In the way, well, depending, honestly, because I think a larger stage will be better for how the how they're gonna handle the projectiles. But if they have a smaller one, I think they'll have like less less space that will force them to have more, which is more um, close up combat. Yeah, a lot more interactions between yeah. each other, making sure that he uses not only these projectiles, but he also he has a couple of great aerial maneuvers. And maybe use a little bit more of the Zare this time around, try to space him out, though. Uh, Samus's Zare is longer than Young Link's. And we're going to Lilac Cruise. That's a curious pick. So we're going to continue on to Lilac Cruise. Once again, a bit of a curious stage pick for Sand, but maybe he's comfortable in it, you know, getting in this cone court zone. This is a very risky stage. Let's and see how right, they handle it. And now we see Sand actually being a lot more aggressive this time around, getting headshot already to 50%. Mm -hmm. he, w he was. He took a very quick start there. And just like the headshot actually brings it back to 44 to 61, not bad so far. Continuing the pressure with the neutral B. And a good nair by Sand once again. And another nair. Okay, punishes the Zare. And headshot actually hitting with the Zare of his own. So do you think that maybe he should use a lot more arrows, for example? It has a lot of hit stuns, so it might want lead to KO moves yeah, a lot faster. I'm pretty sure that the hit stuns will get him a very good lead. The down air is not going to connect. He's going to clank. And he almost went for that combination. That could have been the kill if he would have hit with that bomb. That's actually very, very creative by Sans as well. And a good pair by Headshot, taking him to the outside. Sand manages to recover, going consistently, taking that shard shot. It is very, very almost ready. And a good shot by Headshot. So these players are actually going back and forth, racking up damage, and the dash attack almost hitting him. Sam manages to recover. The bomb is almost there. Look at his oh, shield. shield. Very good by Sand. Surviving the onslaught. And the last hit of that up air. So maybe we see a little bit of that counter pick working out for Sand. And that forward throw taking away headshot stock in this game too. So do you like what you're seeing so far? Ooh, an upbeat to take away that stock. I feel like they're being a lot more aggressive this yeah. second game around. They're re being, they were being very respectful the first game. The second game is a lot more aggressive. What do you think I've about that? I feel like Sand just like took the first game as a research, let's say it like that. And the way she'll be like, okay, and second in the second game, like he knows what to do more. He guys, he's able to handle it. We can see a lot that they're like a lot in the evil pool level. We don't see much of an advantage from a headshot like we saw in the last game. He's handling a lot more better now. Oh, but the forward smash actually taken away. Sorry, Cherry is a little bit of commentator's curse, and they. Sant might be in his last stock of winner's side, and Headshot continues the onslaught. A good grab by him, getting away with the nair. Dash attack is not going to connect 124%. I, I like how he's using the little slant. The slant. Yeah. The slant has an advantage of how the arrows like just go directly. They don't pass him. And the slants also help the fire arrow because it goes in a diagonal and yeah, goes downward. exactly. Like so it, it covers a lot more. I think that like, the little slant was one of the reasons. Like he knew how helpful they will be in that match. Oh, oh for sure. That was a bit of a suspect recovery by Headshot. Maybe he thought he was going to recover with his upbeat. Not quite working out for him so far. Sending a uh, low percentage. Let's say maybe he can make a little comeback. 
97% um, so far. Fair is not going to connect. Sand is trying to apply a little bit more pressure, but Headshot is trying to go for the throat, making sure that Sand cannot recover. Up B is not going to do it just yet. 114 to 20%, 24%, 37%, 47% by the Young Link. Jerry, we're seeing a slobber knocker right now. Oh. Good recovery by Headshot, 73 to 114. Good press. Look at that pressure. Constant objects, one right after the other, almost connecting with the fair. The oh. ceiling of Lilac actually saving Sand that yep. time. The bombs and the shard shot not going to connect. A good nair by Sand, 92% to 159. Oh! oh! And that's going to take there away that go. stock. Nice. Very good game by Sand, and that's a welcome back if we've ever seen it. Sand looking good in this game too, one game apiece. So what do you think we're gonna see now? We saw Stadium at the beginning, we saw, we saw Lilac, Lilac Cruz. What do you think we're gonna go? Honestly, it's quite hard because those stages are quite different. So I can't really say what will headshot, oh, classic Battlefield. Maybe preferring a little bit of a smaller ceiling this time around. No slants, no arrow shenanigans. Just you and me, Battlefield. No se piensalo. <laughs> Game three coming out so far here. Headshot versus Sant. A welcome party for Sant. Coming back to Smash Ultimate and what a way to do it by beating one of the top three players in Smash Puerto Rico. Game three here, Battlefield. Let's get it on. Oh, oh. Oh, that was a good combination by the boomerang yep. and actually connecting with the bear, too. Good arrows by Sand, applying a lot more pressure. And a good zero by Headshot now to get some sort of damage. Up B to escape. Okay, a couple of arrows as well. Getting him inside the corner. I feel like the center of the stage is actually very pivotal for both players right now. The bomb actually eating headshot, shot shot is very important for this matchup as well. If he throws out the bomb, he can't throw anything else to actually cover it. And here comes Sant. Down tilt into an upper is not going to hit. 80% 80, 80 onto Young Link's 53. The Nair is not going to connect this time. Okay, so headshot is losing a little bit of control of the stage. What do you think he can do for him to actually try to get the center a little bit more? I think, nope, yeah, I'll, he did exactly what I was supposed to say. They did charge up and just approach him bit by bit, pushing him back like he's doing right now. Good damage done by headshot so far, but Sant is maintaining persistence, 122 to 120. Pretty much the story of this entire set. Oh, oh. Nice. And a good down air, but it's not going to do it. 174 to 129. Let's see how Sand recovers. 144. Edge guy situation. The shot shot is not going to connect. Sand tosses the bomb. Not going to connect either. Fire out. Let's see what's going to go down now. It's a good air as well. Bomb is tossed again. Connects the headshot. Let's see what's going to happen. Recover safely from the ledge. A good fair. Tosses out a boomerang. 69 to 164. Even. Advantage. Ah. Uh, oh. Chot Chot. It's, it's full. And uh, a dash attack yeah. for wanting to do an up smash. Trying to read a roll. And a good up B to escape. The pressure is on for Sand right now. And a good Chot Chot by Headshot too. See what's gonna go down right now. 186%, now 192 on headshot. Nice. I can see how he's using some of the arrows to like cancel some of the charge ups. And headshot's already at 201%. We see a little bit of the difficulty that Young Ming might have in regards to killing. 
might want to consider a grab. And continuing on forward. You gotta maintain that clock as well. Take it into consideration for this game three. And another dash attack to take him to the outside. A good zero by Headshot. Taking up the extra guard situation. Bombs explode. Santa's still alive. Charge Rod is not gonna do anything. And a good down air from Sant to Headshot. But Headshot has a lot of extra credit right now at 122%. Good movement by Sant. A good down throw, a couple of back airs, styling a little bit. Those kicks look great on Young Link. A down tilt, headshot at 69%. Good, good nares by Sant. See what's gonna happen right now. Covering the ledge with multiple bombs at the same time. Headshot is going for what he used to do a lot in the previous iteration of Smash is making sure that he drops the shield as much as possible. Ooh, good up air down by Sand, and 172 to 165. That's not out of the realm of possibility just yet. So it's good. going for the movement ranks, 130% of 165. Continuing the pressure with different projectiles, Headshot is trying to get something going, but Sand is not letting him have it. Charge Shot is almost up. Continuing with the onslaught. Charge Shot oh. is complete, but he reads the roll. It's not going to do it just yet. That's a good direct. And a, a B safely recovers. Headshot tosses out another shot shot, not going quite going to do it. 132 to 190. The bombs are covering the ledge. Let's see what's going to happen right now. Oh, see. Fire arrows are the name of the game for Sand right now. 148 to 200. Oh. And a forward tilt taking away Sand stock. 148 on headshot. That is just not done yet. Yes. Headshot applying pressure. Up tilt, up air, continuing the onslaught, 50% on Sant. His, oh, his, li his life on the winner's side is in peril right now. The Nair is gonna hit with the sour spot. One minute and 30 seconds remaining into the game, 199% now onto headshot with 50% on Sant. Pressure situation. Let's see what Santa's gonna do. Tries to get for a grab, not gonna do it. 210%. 221. So a little bit of a difficulty for Santa actually kill oh, the young thing, but there he goes. Misses the up air. The up air. Last up situation, and there is a minute left on the clock. Let's see what's gonna happen right now. Santa's gonna do the throw up the pressure. Good down air, try to get more damage on. 29% to 78. Charge shot is gonna com continue to be connecting so far. Boomerangs, arrows. Bombs, charge shots, missiles, every every single projectile in this game. Up B is not gonna connect either. Ed shot hits him with the back air, 96 to 47. Oh! And a good down air! Setting up that kill with the bomb and a down air. Headshot advances.